At the eastern edge of the island of Sulawesi in Indonesia lies the Limbe Straits. Limbe is known for its strange and beautiful critters. Strange and beauty can easily be found in the diversity of the many nudibranchs. Nudibranchs are not the only colorful ones. There is the juvenile boxfish and cowfish, as well as the elegant comet fish. The strangeness starts with a pair of rhinopias. The overly caffeinated juvenile sweet lip. This is supposed to convince predators that they're a toxic flatworm. The juvenile Baramundi also does this, just a bit slower. Beauty was invented for the amorous mandarin fish. Most critters in Limbe need a bit of searching for. The sea fan can hold a tiny pygmy seahorse. The real fame of Limbe is the strange critters in the muck, like a crinoid walking on the sand with its little shrimp hitchhiker. Anemones can be an entire habitat, harboring clownfish and commensal shrimp. The shrimp bide their time until a big work project shows up to clean this large puffer fish. Urchins can be quite fast or a little slower. They seem to have sprouted legs. The carrier crab uses the urchin as a hat to hide from predators. The sea cucumber sifts the sand for food. It also has a shrimp hitchhiker that rides along and checks the sand. Sometimes it's fast food. Limbe has a variety of mantis shrimp, some very colorful, some looking for food, some itching their tails. Mollusks can jump or dance, or give an electric smile. For a bit of added protection, hermit crabs place anemones on their shelves. To be stealthy, this crab grows a hat of sponges. The orangutan crab looks like algae. But they're no match for the master of camouflage, the decorator crab. There are crabs that farm algae to hide among the halamita plant. Pipefish also mimic this algae. Many fish use mimicry for camouflage. Ornate ghost pipefish as crinoids. Robust ghost pipefish as sunken leaves. The circular spadefish and waspfish are also a sunken leaf. The velvet fish is a piece of debris. The leafy filefish is a swimming bush. This isn't a sea urchin with a mouth. It's the hairy frogfish. Frogfish aren't the best swimmers. But they do a great imitation of a sponge. They're a lying weight predator. They can be a very quick predator. There are many that use the sand for camouflage, like the sea moths, canards, and dragonettes. Spiny devilfish hide in the sand. as well as the stargazer. Lizardfish and eels. The reticulated eel is unaware of what's hiding in the sand. The eel just found a bobbit worm. Or did the bobbit worm find him? 
This cuttlefish's camouflage is flashing flamboyant colors as a distraction. Others prefer a more simpler approach and bury in the sand. Octopus also flash colors. Having had enough of the filming, this octopus will take its shell and move elsewhere. This has been a sampling of the strange and bizarre critters that reside under the waters of the Limbe Straits.